Oh, 404, or 404, oh no. Oh, we should probably talk to Topping as well. Because, like, he doesn't have the quest chain for me, so we should probably talk to him. Yeah, we'll do that after uh, going to the train. We gotta talk to Greeny, too. Wait, I didn't see Greeny in my list of thing people that have things, so his is probably also a bonus mission. All right. Oh, wait. I think I know what his are. I think his are the little cutscenes that play when you collect uh, the flowers. So, uh, we won't touch that for now. Yes, press flowers. All right. Yes, yeah, so we won't do his. Let's go talk stopping then real quick. Because, yeah, apparently press flower cutscenes have minor spoilers. So we'll wait, but probably do that actually after the game because there's more stuff that unlocks after we... Oh, I almost threw my phone. Uh, more things that unlock after we actually complete the main story that we have to do. So it's, it's like a little bit, so I'm not too worried about it, but that's when we'll go and we'll do all those, so. I, where is this thing? Is that way? All right. Well, away we go. Yeah, I think his will also just um do an do an objective. Oh. What is up with this music? We gotta drop his body in a grave. Yeah, I hope that counts as like one of the graves. Yeah, that that counted technically. Alrighty, just leave the area, and we'll get that one. Actually, give me that chest. Where is that at? It's up here. Yes. Yeah, so now I'm starting to do some of the side stuff as I kind of run into it, and how much of a out of the way thing it is. So, like that one wasn't too bad. Bam. Mission accomplished. All right. Damn, okay. And you on going down. All right, how many skill points are we at? We should be, I was about to say, we should be at enough to level up now. Yeah, so we'll buy that. And then let's get you that last one to pump you up to level eight. Bottle level eight. So yeah, we got 15 and then I think we have to fully max out to hit 10. Yeah, so we have a couple that we need to buy for nine and then max out for 10. Um doesn't have really a lot that are expensive at this point. Like, guess what? The one six, one, uh, three that are four, and then the rest are two. Yeah, so you have six, ten, fourteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, 
24, 26, 28, 30, 32. Yeah. Like, 32 total left, so. Yeah. So we need, what, 32,000 XP? I feel like that's pretty doable, actually. Yeah, it might take a little bit longer than we wanted to. Okay, I'm not going to do that quite yet. That one seems a little painful, so nope. Alrighty. Almost to Robert Topping. And speak to you. I should have hit the button to be like, hey, what's around me? Ooh. No, hey, wake up. Not guilty. Beg your pardon. Yeah, beg no, my pardon. You're the one. I assure you we've never met. Yeah. Is this a prize fighting me? You oh! Your eyes and ears, it okay. Is, my lord, my lady. The name is Robert. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, I was like, where do we remember this guy? London, at your disposal. Well, second best, but my mum says Donald's a bit of a nincompoop. Anyhow, I well then. show you a vast array of exciting things, from prize fights to carriage races. Mmm, okay. We can afford to spend a little time here. Yes. So yeah, he just unlocks more things for us to do, so... While Ned gave us a bunch of the heist and stealing stuff, he gives us a lot more of the action-y stuff we can do. Yeah. Yeah, so like he gave us fight clubs and races um i don't know if we really want to do all of these um let's see i don't think they show up really in the progress tracker yeah like i'm not seeing them so i don't have to worry about them then all right i guess which ones do we want to start next Um, you know what? Let's go through and start the, uh, I wanted to start these, but I know it's going to take forever. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's start the Dreadful Crimes. Actually, let's get to the vault. We have to do that, too. We have to go there at least, I probably, at some point before, uh, Where it's fully like, yep, okay, you're good. And it might help with, uh, kind of slowly finding everything on the map, so. That illustration. Boop! Alright. There we go. Event number 9 out of 10. Hijack. All right, should be a bottle around here. Oh, it's in over there. Oh, tackle. There we go. We scared him off. Bottle. Yeah, just require bottles. Well, that's below. All right. Well, uh, how do we? Oh, that's how. I'm seeing. I'm like, how do we get down here? Oh, jeez. Okay. Ah. Okay. Well, hey, we at least need. Pro probably should watch this cutscene. 
my god, this is Michel Rouge's vault. Michel Rouge? Michael Rouge's vault? Oh, Michael Rouge. You have no idea who that is, do you? Nope. I'm the foggiest. He was an assassin. Father had one of his books. Nephew mm. says he found some fabulous treasure near Bath that drove him mad. He locked it away beneath London in a vault that could only be opened by a set of special musical boxes. Hmm. Okay, then. Musical boxes. Now who's mad? Oh, well, then. Yep. Ah, so this is pretty much it being like, hey, here's where all of them are. Yeah. Okay. Let's insert the first one. There we go. And one down, a lot more to go. All right, really no reason for us to ever really come back down here until we have them all, so I'm not gonna worry too, too much about it. All right, okay, there we go. Alrighty, now that that's done, um, yeah, I guess we'll get started on Dreadful Crimes. Ready. All right. Down we go. Okay, so here we go. Critical crime is a simple matter of murder. Alright. Solving the seemingly simple murder of a factory worker. Oh, these are like the, uh... Oh, Angry's gonna be so upset if she misses these, if they're kind of like what I think they are. Oh, dear. This is going very badly, isn't it? Maybe. It certainly doesn't have the makings of a ripping good novel. What happened here? Yeah, what is ah, happening here? The charming and delightful Fry twins. Have we met? Mr. Raymond knows everyone. He knows everything about this city. He writes it all up in his books. I'm Henry Raymond, writer of third-rate lurid stories. Penny Dreadfuls, if oh, you know. Okay. And this is little Artie. Mr. I see. Raymond takes real murders and makes them so awfully exciting. Mm. The guilty always get caught. There's one you would hope, just but here. perhaps one of you would like to try your hand in solving it. Yep, dreadful crimes to find the murderer, use eagle vision, search clues, interrogate every suspect. Then you have the progression log, use guilty suspect. Uh, be careful though, every false accusation will reduce reward. Okay. Alrighty. Eh, not really. Oh, yeah. Yes. Owner of the factory. Use block the topic. Oh, interrogate. Tell me about the workers. Oh. But someone has to keep the kids in line. Eh. I just wish the grown-ups would quit fighting each other. All right, and the body. Find the foreman dead. Ah. The lad duly with bloody hands. No one's been able to find the murder weapon and arrest the murderer. Could you sort it out quickly? It's holding up the work. Ah. So everything suggests it was probably duly. All right. Uh, deep stab him in the chest, bandana obscures the victim's face. Ah, okay. Tells me everything. Alright. 
Fuck. He's my brother. He don't like to work hard, so one of the workers give him a thrashing. I tried to stop it, and he stops saying fuck and starts hitting me. He well knocks then. me to the ground and give me a kick. I find me work knife under me and grab it. I lift me hands to protect myself, and he knocks me out with a punch. Later on, I wakes up, and the man's lying there, dead. I have a feeling he did it, but uh. I was standing there, having a think, mm -hmm. when a fella come at me and give me a thumping. Dooley tries to stop him, and he thrashes Dooley. I run out to find help. When I come okay. back, the man's lying dead, and there's Dooley holding a knife. Please don't arrest him. So it definitely was Dooley. However, uh, it doesn't look like it's self defense. Hey, where is the knife, though? Yep. I should go back and ask about this. Alright. Oh. What's this? Um, come to your attention that one of your workmen, certain Mr. Colton, has been beating the child laborers. Our society finds that this to be a matter of concern, as do you, no doubt. Please take action to curtail the practice. Miss Clara Odea. Or is it Odea? I don't remember. That's Dooley's knife, yep. right? He never lent it to nobody. I see. Well. Is your cue? Hey, no. Oh, no, no, no. Not so quickly. You have indeed solved this murder, according to the facts at hand. Yes. However, Artie, what advice would you give? Yeah. I would encourage you to look beyond the obvious. Beyond surface appearances. What? Try again. Use your powers to peer more deeply and see what you can discover. Okay. Print of large worker's footprint. Okay. Um, marked by pebbles of coal. Okay, so it was meant to be like, oh, it's definitely him. Uh, Wilkins, Wilkins wasn't the type to beat the children. On the contrary, he was forever getting in fights, trying to stop that sort of thing. Mm. The fumes can be a bit much in the brewery. When the men work in there, they wear bandanas. Ah, okay. All assailant, small feet. Um, can I accuse anyone? No, so I have more, another area that I have to find apparently. Re examine some of the clues more closely. Okay. What, what do you want me to examine? Oh. I'm sitting there, I'm like, what do you mean? What do you want me to do? Ah, game, thank you for tabbing me out again for no reason. All right. Ah. Uh. Yeah, at least it'll stop me from, uh... Me and Wilkins was working out here. Yep. We heard screaming. Wilkins went to see what it was about and never come back. I went to see for myself, and there he was, mm. dead. I didn't stick around. Somebody might think I've done it. Uh, bandana? The thing is, bandana? Wilkins weren't wearing no bandana when I was talking to him. Only the workmen in the brewery wear bandanas. You should talk to Morris there. Us, but okay. All right, let's go talk to you. Large worker. Well, I was inside the brewery all day. Yeah. 
I wear my bandana in there. Man has to, what with all the smells and fumes. I see. Nothing else around here. Oh. Ah. Um, I've got cigarette butts. Someone can tell me more about this. Hey, you smoke? I don't much know who smokes here. Maybe Taylor. Cigarette might be his. Ah. I see. All right. Well, let's go talk to Taylor about it. All right. Who's the one that the poster said beats the kids, though? I quit smoking months ago. You know, I saw somebody from the brewery having a smoke this morning. Didn't see who it was, though. Mmm. Sus. Okay. What is going on with these two? Well, like I said, I was inside. Didn't get a chance to come out to smoke. Colton left, though. Oh, I think Colton was the one that had problems, yeah. Alright. Definitely Colton. Alright. I should go back and ask about this. Yeah. I was having a chat with one of the others when I heard a commotion and ran in there to find Wilkins dead. Mm. Poor bloke. Killed by that filthy little bastard that we feed and pay. Oh, I bet. I don't smoke. Never did. Oh, very well. So I do smoke now and then. What's the matter? I'm gonna accuse you. I should be foreman here. Wilkins coddled the boys like a mother hen. Yeah. He come along and stops me giving the boys a beating. Yeah. Was much more difficult than it initially appeared. Well done. Up to the click with you. Yeah, away he goes. You know, when a workman ends in death for the workman, boy remembers lifting a knife, but not the actual killing. Did he do it? No. In fact, the dead worker, one John Mulkins, heard screams and ran to offer assistance. Once there, he found the boy unconscious, and another work workman, Tom Colton, standing on our unharmed. Colton, along here with Wilkins, thought fast and stabbed the man with the boy's knife. He then Put his own bandana over Wilkins' face. Quick thinking, however, did not win out. Golden has been unmasked as the murderer. I like that. Bam! Mission complete. That's one down. Alright, now are, is there like kind of an order that I'm taking these? Yeah, to a point? Alright, because the next up would be Deathstalk's Colonel. Okay, yeah. So we want that one next. And after we do that one, we go up, we do the next one. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. These missions aren't terrible. I feel like it. There's a lot less that we're trying to do here than there was in Unity. At least that's how it feels, but... I think there's a lot more options of things to do, but not as much as we really need to do, if that makes any sense. Alright, let's get a move on. Oh, eh, I got that at some point. Do, 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 do. I was gonna say, um, hearing something. Yeah, I heard it. Okay, all right. Let's go get that. Shouldn't be too bad. I'm good. I'll pass. Yeah, as long as it's not too hard to keep uh, these investigations going, I'm going to finish all of them today. 
death death stalks the colonel. Determine which bullet struck and killed the former colonel. Yay. Alright. There you are. This could be interesting. There's no shortage of firearms in this neighborhood. Not like that. Okay. So inspect the body. Let me grab this over here. Let's see, give it. There we go. Alright. Alright, inspect the body. It was Prescott, killed by a single bullet, and entered his chest, passed directly through his heart, and exited from his back. Why do I recognize that name? Louis Prescott. Alright, what is this? Munitions Factory Banner, banner for the 11th Regiment of Foot, Mark Gold Coast, Ashanti Campaign. Alright, um, we got some blood. Spread in a way that indicates the direction of the bullet. So he was shot from over here. Slowly so marked Prescott Munitions, okay. Yeah, so he got shot from pretty much over by the crate. Uh, bullet lodged exactly below the neural 12th clock still running. Well, no. I didn't ask about this. I was about to say, yeah, shot pretty much came from over there. Full hole made by the hexagonal bullet. It was bloody. Game, why do you keep tabbing? Like what? One lines up better. That one lines up better. I oh, wait, Feather. Alright. Uh, Prescott? Moment. Very honorable. I'm proud to have served under Colonel Prescott in the 11th foot Gold Coast, Africa. Okay. Uh, the banner? Prescott put that up in memory of the time he led a sortie across the Pearl River to outflank Ashanti warriors. Hmm. Things turned out badly that day. Horrific. We lost several of our comrades. I see. Prescott wanted us to remember them. Okay. I was on my way here. Heard two shots I did. Right at the stroke of noon. Bullet hole hmm. in the clock. <laughs> That's a new one. It could have already been there when I arrived at noon. Or maybe it was the second shot I heard. Okay. Oh, From what hey, I buddy. Gather, Prescott was shot almost exactly at 12 o'clock noon. When Colonel Prescott retired from the army, mm -hmm. he used his connections and started this munitions factory. Ah, okay. He wanted the men that served with him to have work when they left the army. Oh, okay. The young lads across the street were fooling with a pistol they'd found. A bullet must have gone astray through the wooden fence. Hit Mr. Prescott smack in the chest. Bloody unlucky for all concerned. I feel like that's Apparently, unlikely. They put the clock there while doing some repairs. It still runs, I notice. Yeah. All right. That. Yeah. Indicates that the bullet exited the courtyard. That doesn't mean anything. Large puddle of beer. Other puddles continue along the street. This has to go somewhere. Alright, follow this down the road. Okay. Alright, let's see. Um, pull through on the panels inside a spent bullet, the caliber of the Bullet matches the from his revolver. 
Okay, so the orphans, I don't think, did it. If theirs is round, round, it wasn't them. It looks like it was a hexagonal bullet. Actually, we have to see, um... Alright. Actually, we have to go back to the body, because I don't remember the shape of the bullet hole. Fucked dead white goose. Okay. So, it was someone here who did it. Great. Don't think it was the orphans. Um, these by Titsy flies and okay. Find out about this. Uh, tell me about Prescott. Each morning as I drove by, seemed like a good sort. Hmm. We lost the beer? An entire barrel of beer. Damn it! I heard two loud bangs, but thought nothing of it. Ah. I found a bullet hole in a barrel. Imagine that. A bullet hole. My lad Samuel might know more. He's around back tossing trash in the river. Got it. Okay. The poor lad. Fell on my doorstep a few years ago. He's in a bad way. Has some sort of malady. Mm. Rides in the back while I make deliveries. Hard worker. Very determined. Oh. He's probably a decent shot, too. I'll just drop off beer. Don't pay much attention to people along the way. I feel like you would know Prescott, though. There was an hole in a barrel. I've got no explanation for that. Oh, really? That's for some sickness I picked up a while ago. Can't remember the name of it. Gotcha. I get the feeling he sh killed him. Um... Yeah, if the orphans were playing with a round... Yeah, let's go check the body again, because I don't remember the shape of the, bear, of the bullet hole in him. Okay. Um... I don't know the shape, though. That's what I want to know. Regardless, though, the bullets from the kids didn't go through. They got they hit a barrel. Handmade by the orphans. Yep. This was shown Sodomon firing from the target. I love all these trajectories. Uh, shooting? Right there on a mark and shot the target. I went to shoot, but there was a loud bang. I was surprised and missed the target completely. It wasn't me who killed the man. I'm no murderer. Yep. We found a revolver underneath the lumber yard window. Don't know where it came from. All right. Well, I guess I need to look at the window. Let me get a spear. The object may have fallen here. Perhaps a revolver. Okay. So, even if we're going to assume Kid did it. Bullet trail. Shooter? Oh, God. Hey. Him and me like to insult each other. I was a lieutenant under his command. And oh, you did it. I love the army. No one questions you when you wear a uniform. Anyways. Every morning when he arrived, we'd call out and joke with each other. Uh, oh, yeah? yeah? Well, Prescott led a flanking sortie that went wrong. Lots of casualties. Some men called the colonel a coward, but it were really just bad luck. Anyway, he resigned. To make amends, he offered work at his factory whenever one of us left the army. Okay. So, his pistol... single on this. Yeah, that'd be the angle. A 
bullet trail. Mmm. Who would have a motive? Okay, we know the kids didn't. Yeah, the one from the kids very much, very much did not. No impact. Yep, because that got stuck in the barrel. Um. Yeah. I feel like the blood is suggesting he got shot from there. I don't... I can't even... I'm missing something. I'm missing something somewhere. Because it's not letting me interrogate yet. Or not even interrogate, it's not letting me, uh... Accuse. Bag. Probably something in there. I feel like I'm missing something. Unless it's like I can only accuse. I can't accuse the shop owner. I'm missing something because it's. Not giving me the option at this point. Um... Yeah. At this point, we very much know it wasn't the kids. The suspect. You didn't do it. Is there some is there like a way inside that I'm not seeing? I gotta be missing something here. Because I it's not letting me accuse anyone. Great, I might have to look this up to be like why I can't what am I missing? Can I talk to you now? Apparently they put the clock there while doing some repairs. It still runs, I noticed. Where'd the clock come from, actually? I haven't found the hexagonal pistol, though. That's... I'm literally looking for the smoking gun. Which one am I working on? That sucks, Colonel. Um... Yeah, because I'm like, I'm literally, I don't know what I'm missing here. Um. Yep, the shop. Courtyard. Barrel depot. 
for your attic. Oh! There's an attic that I'm missing? Sniper rifle has an astonishing actually it smells as though it's been fired within the past. Okay. Well, now, I didn't ask about this. Which it would make sense then. Hey, some theatic. Admit it. I sell stolen rifles and pistols. All very hush hush. Black market. What worth? I brought that gun back from Africa. I was a sniper fighting the Ashanti. I used that gun this morning for Prescott's challenge. It's the only Whitworth we have. I'd never sell it. I um. made that shot. Early this morning, Prescott challenged me to plug the 12 from my shot. I missed just slow. No one witnessed it. It was too early in the morning. Is you're the only one that could possibly do it. Me? I couldn't have shot him from the attic at that angle. I only shot a clock. Great. Yeah, the kids didn't do it. Hassett, as far as I'm aware, doesn't have motive. Is it actually back to him? His goddamn cowardice in Africa got me and yeah. his friends killed. He should have faced a firing squad. Yep, as I thought. Well, like, it never said anything about him having a gun, so the gun was a, uh... It's a miracle anyone survived, what with all those bullets whizzing about. Up to the clink, yeah. An army sharpshooter watches his friends die in a bungled military maneuver and vows revenge. Thought by a tropical disease contracted on the Gold Coast, Private Samuel Fry spent years planning his vengeance on Louis Prescott. Colonel whose cowardice meant death for his companions. He taunted Prescott with a symbolic white feather and then, at the stroke of noon, took his final revenge. Maybe bullets flew that day. A bullet from the shop attic lodged Prescott's lock factory. A bullet from the revolver found by some children lodged in a passing beer cart. A bullet fired by Samuel from the back of the cart struck Prescott directly in the heart. Okay then. No, I do not like that one. All right, fast over there. All right. Ready. Let's mark this one. Where am I going? Oh, is it down there? Oh, it's this way. Gotcha, okay. All right, let's get moving. How many of these do I have, actually? Uh, eight. So it looks like there's only ten. Yeah, okay. Hopefully they're not all that bad, but... Eh, who knows. Alright, let's get a running. I'm running here. Alright. Dang, got a long ways to go. Yeah, hopefully these are, uh... Anytime I have to find a room that it doesn't specifically mention, I'm like, why? Like, I enjoy these. I find these, for the most part, relatively fun, but... At the same time, why? Alright. Case of the Conflicted Porch Chip. So the perplexing murder of a woman in a public park. It was me, Dio. A tragedy in the park. Ooh. 
another chance to sort out a diabolical conundrum. All right, we're just gonna head to the park. Where is her body? Oh, there it is. Young woman with identifying papers stabbed many times in a highly violent manner. Wounds indicate a left-handed attacker. Uh, gaining powder medication, stamp Dr. Trevor Alton with an address. This, I should ask more questions. Yep. Contains an appointment diary, 10 a.m. Trevor Park. Noon, Gilbert, his house. The address is... Okay. I've seen this. I should ask more questions. All right. Well. Oh, that's in the music box. Ah, something over here. I was like, what is that fourth thing? The knife. Probably the knife. But it is a standard kitchen knife. Okay. Well, whoever's missing a kitchen knife, we know they're the culprit. Probably gonna be Gilbert. Like, if I'm taking guess, it's probably Gilbert. Since, you know, he's... It's from a house. Now let's find all the clues. Dear Miss Knight, I would ask you to please suspend uh, Mr. Shelby's prescription. This note, this note, as well as all medical entries in the office, appear to be written by a right-handed man. So it's not Dr. Alton. Yeah, Dr. Alton didn't do it. Well, whoever, if he's right-handed, he didn't do it. Um, Miss Brown came to see me, oppressed by grave anxiety concerning a recent engagement. This was not a medical... Oh, what a... Okay, however, she has since embarked on her road with someone I shall not name. <sighs> Great. Um, since using this treatment, Mr. Shelby has overcome his paralyzing timidity with astonishing success. However, so, to the effects I have seen... Same drug on Mr. Baxter, I feel obliged to terminate Mr. Shelby's use of I wonder if someone could tell me more about this. Okay. Ah, a note. Um, doctor, um, I hope... You hope that our professional relationship does not preclude a closer rapport. Yours most sincerely, Miss Claire Knight. Okay. Uh, Baxter now appears to be totally reliant on the treatment. He consumes far more than the prescribed dosage and is constantly demanding more. In addition, he is becoming alarmingly aggressive, going so far as... Oh, he's seduced several women over... Oh! I should go back and ask about this. So Baxter is probably the problem. Is that Gilbert? Oh Prudence? My God. Prudence? Yes, How she did. Horrible. I was about to propose. Oh. I don't understand. She and I didn't have a meeting arranged today. It is true that we sometimes meet in the park, but there was no arrangement for this morning. Well then, okay. That's very odd indeed. Prudence was a patient here, but wasn't given this prescription. There's no reason that she should be carrying such a packet. My headphones keep trying to like disconnect, reconnect. You appreciate, I'm sure, that I cannot discuss the condition of any of my patients. Okay. I don't think it's him. Like, he has no reason to want to kill her, so. Do I still have more to talk to him about? Got cheek. Unfortunate incident. Oh. One of my patients became overexcited. Yeah, we know what happened. Alright. Missed the stairs. Okay. Um, but a bum ba ba dum. Bum Let's talk to you. Oh. Oh, you're you're Clair Knight. Okay. Increasingly began to stop by socially. Hmm. Mr. Baxter apparently attacked the doctor yesterday. Yeah. 
It was after hours, but the doctor did have a cut on his cheek. Poor man. All right. Um, tell me about Baxter. Doctor Alton makes house calls to see him. Baxter doesn't come into the office. I make up the prescriptions, and he picks them up at noon when I'm away at lunch. Oh, okay. So she was meeting Doctor Alton in the park, was she? My understanding was that she was engaged to someone. In any yes, case, Gilbert. the good doctor could do better, in my opinion. Perhaps now he will. Dang. Okay. You are. I don't know any. Oh, you're Mr. Shelby. Alton's other patients. I'm quite angry, actually. I was having such terrific results. I felt yeah. like a new man. Much more vigorous and outgoing. But the doctor has ended the prescription altogether for no reason. Well then. Oh yeah. Let me go to Gilbert's house. Alright. And let's head on up. Oh, the door was open. Well, actually, I wanted to see if you have anything up. Ah, what's this? Uh, dear Gilbert, I have something of the utmost importance to tell you. I shall call tomorrow at noon. Please, dear Gilbert, know that whatever I have to say, I will always hold you in the highest esteem of prudence. Her head gives Prudence's address. Okay. Now we'll go check her house. Please get off of me. Now let's talk to you. Prudence, uh, Prudence. and I are engaged to be married. I'm desperate to see her. She should be by any moment. She had something important to tell me. I'm worried she's going to break off the engagement. Prudence Oof. has been so distant lately. I believe she has a misplaced affection for her doctor, the cat. I would make a much more appropriate husband, and the wedding is planned. I see. So he knows about the cheating. I don't understand why he would kill her, though. Um. Now, if, like, the doctor was dead, or he was dead, I could see one of them. I could see, yeah, if the doctor was dead, I could see him killing the doctor, like... Honestly, I feel like that'd be pretty well within reason for him to have done it. Alright, we're almost to her house. And over we go. Alrighty. go. Ah, no one. Here's Trevor, I must tell you that not this evening something unsettling occurred after our ta 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 uh, ta 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 I don't know. And the park I set off her home, all while thinking of you. Suddenly a young woman appeared and began to berate me in the street, never ceasing to shout insults and shameful allegations involving someone named Baxter. Is that the patient you have had such trouble with? Oh my dear, I managed to slip away, but it was so ter terribly upsetting. But now... See that it is too late to post this, and I will see you tomorrow in any case, my love. So, Trevor Alton, okay. A woman? I think I know who the woman is. So she berated her. Several entries stand out. I hold Gilbert in the greatest esteem, but I simply cannot admit marriage and all it entails. I have seen so little of the world. I've begun to see a doctor in an attempt to calm my nerves and concentrate my mind. Dr. Alton is a kind and gentle in the solicitous, solicitous manner with which he listens is as beneficial as any medication. Oh, what a rapturous night. The timid Dr. Trevor Alton has surprising depths. We had a ch chance encounter in the park, whereupon he began to speak to me with such intensity and passion, I was quite swept up. Soon his ardent kisses took my breath away. Could it be that I found love at last? And what then, of my engagement to Gilbert? Oh, my feelings for Trevor. It seems so silly to call him Dr. Alton now. Are as strong as ever, but mixed with concern. He has become moody, even tormented. He complains of the experimental treatment of his patients. 
told him that I plan to break things off to Gilbert. Trevor and I are to meet in the park this morning. It is a proposal is a proposal is in the offing. What? If he does propose, oh please let it be so. I shall go directly to Gilbert and break it off with him. A swift sharp break is best for everyone. And then I was like, be someone nearby. Ah, it's you. Prudence? I saw her kissing my man in the park, didn't I? I followed her to the street yesterday, but lost her. I'll come every day if need be until I catch her again. Mm. That trollop better promise to let him alone, or I'll give her what for. Okay. So now she has reason. He's all mine, I tell you. All the girls want a bit of Baxter, but they can't have him. You ask him yourself. He lives just that way. Great. All right. Baxter's house. Okay, so what's he pretending? Hold. Hmm. Is Dr. Alton and Baxter twins? So many clues. Um, I always get what I want, and it's my due. It's definitely Baxter. Um, but I see Dr. Alton. That is break her engagement because of you. I, I won't have it. I shall marry her myself. At least that sure woman written by a right hand man. Oh no. Okay. Nothing to do. You were a monster of my own making, written by a right hand man. Yep. It's Dr. Alton. Can't extinguish your life, so I shall extinguish hers. Written by a left hand man. There's a spot of blood on the note. Yeah, so. <sighs> yeah. You are nothing but a burden to me, a pathetic, sniveling burden, if only I could be rid of you. Written by a left handed man. Many empty paper packets, they have residue of powder on them. I should return and find out about this. And then the missing knife, right? Collection of kitchen knives identical to the one found missing up. Yep. Alright. Okay, so if we have two that are white, that makes me think that we have a clue associated there. Or like people to talk to or something. So. My assumption is Dr. Trevor, well, Dr. Alton, Trevor, whatever, is having a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde moment. And so, but unlike Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, um, he, he doesn't actually change how he looks. That was a weird thing that I didn't like about uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, but it made a lot of sense into how they kind of played it off as, oh, well, no one knows that Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde are the same person, but uh, Baxter. I've never heard of such a man. Yep. Yeah. Um, hey, what's the thing that we found? Yep. So his office, it had his thing on it. It was probably him, let's be honest. Um... Yeah. Press the way in. Yeah, probably all the way up to the third floor, right? No, 
someone down on the ground floor. I honestly think it is the doctor, though. Um, A. That medicine. medicine was developed by Dr. Alton specifically for one of our patients, Mr. Shelby. But he's been using it for another patient as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, I wonder who the patient is. Um... After all, um, he was talking about having mood issues, so... Oh god, it's true. I couldn't help myself. The powder unleashed a creature in yeah. me. He seduced the innocent Prudence and then killed her to prevent us from marrying. It's too, too horrible. Yep. Yeah. I knew something was amiss with the medical powder, but didn't understand until you found those papers. Well done. Yeah. Dr. Trevor Alton's experimental oh, medication seemed to be so successful on one of his patients that he tried to uh, himself create a monster going under the name of Baxter. The second drug altered personality lived a wild, scandalous life seducing woman as he went. The unsuspecting Prudence Brown, believing him to be Dr. Alton, fell in love with the passion of Baxter. Meanwhile, Baxter continued his seductions, which included the possessive Lulu, who later followed Prudence, planning to threaten her. Horrified by Baxter's actions, Dr. Alton resolved to marry Prudence in order to save her reputation. Baxter, however, would not have his freedom curtailed in any way. Arranged a to meet Miss Brown in the park where he viciously murdered her, a crime for which Dr. Alton will pay the price. Well, yeah, basic same person. Um, that was actually pretty quick. Um, we'll do one more. Yeah, we'll do one more. Assuming it unlocks it to the next one. Yeah, so... Mystery of the Twice Dead Professor. Alright, so we need... Find whichever point is closest to there. Which doesn't seem like there's one that's really in a, a good location. Blue here. Alrighty. That was a fun one, though. Alright, down we go. And flip. Stealth kill the messenger. Got him. I don't think it counted though, but we got him. Alright. Charge. Do 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 do. Keep on going. All right. This is one, though, where I feel like I, uh, kind of wanted to do this in a weird order. Game, game. I hate it when it kind of, like, alt tabs me out. Well, he died, so we're not gonna gonna stay here then. Yeah. See, in the ones where it's like I have to go in here, kill the 
clear out the area and save the rook. The rooks, I'm like, great. Because they're going to be miserable. Just because, like, if the rooks would just stay, if I didn't have to worry about saving the rooks, it probably wouldn't be that bad. Or keeping them alive. Uh, I think that would also probably benefit from uh, putting some perks into the things that level them up. So the mystery of the professor who, once buried, returned to die in his parlor. Here's an especially exciting one. Perfect for a penny dreadful. Ooh, okay. The professor dies twice. That's once more than usual. Twice as many Yeah. Alright, let's go check on Professor Bing's home. Let me guess. Oh. On the body. There's evidence of having been in a terrible struggle there with a deep cut to the forehead that appears to be surgical. The cut goes into the skull itself. Alright. Well, I'm gonna check around the house. Intricately carved sculpture, evidently of African origin. There's a small recess where something could have been hidden. Why does that matter? Alright, um, a large sink of spider curled up in- oh. Alright, chipped from within London, clearly it's marked to be opened only by- Now that I've seen this, I should ask more questions. So someone sent that to have him open it, probably for him to then get killed. Um, from his attorney, uh, my dear being, I can certainly amend- I can certainly amend your will to discourage the marriage of your son with the young lady in question. Any allowance that will be suspended in the event of such a marriage should have served the purpose. If, as you suspect, she is driven by love of money, such provision should considerably dampen her ardor for your son. Oh, great. So... Esteemed Professor Bing, my re research trip has been a great success. I have been able to ver verify personally several of the unusual customs that you chronicled in your brilliant book. Once again, I'm humbled by your genius, Professor Silas. Alright, let me grab my chest. Well, there should be one more item somewhere. I saw something... Ah, out in the back. All right, read the note. Dear Slav, I do not understand your father's antipathy towards me. I fear that he will take steps to disrupt our engagement. Please obtain his assurances that no matter if you marry me or no, he will render you your due when the time comes. Your betrothal. She pretty much tried to be like, "Hey, kill your dad." It's unthinkable. Okay. Such a great man. Yep. He was still in mourning from the burial. He was buried yesterday in the family plot. Mm. My father was an eminent anthropologist and something of a see. Okay. He made his name by investigating the practices of a small village in the Congo. Mm. His colleagues at the university often sent him trinkets from abroad. I see. This is no time to talk about the will. It is true that my father and my fiance didn't get on, but I'm confident that once he got to know her as a daughter-in-law, they would have become friends. Okay. Oh, is this part it's of the so issue? Okay. The professor died of an art attack just days ago. Then tonight, I hear pounding at the door. I open it to find him bleeding and in pain. He tried to say something and collapsed dead. Again. Spider? Let's get that out of here. Emmett is definitely afraid of spiders. Okay. Kept repeating, Barqueso, Barqueso, over and over. What does it mean? It so should probably know. Ago. Inside was a statue. I thought it was a marvel. But he told me it was quite common. I don't know who sent it. Probably Silas. Yeah, but I think it, so. I don't want to say Silas murdered him, but I think Silas accidentally 
got him killed. Like, he might have been... So, I'm assuming it, Spider got out, or Silas sent the thing. Um, just be like, hey, look, I found the thing. Didn't realize it had a spider in it. Um, he got bit by the spider, passed out, um, and then something happened, woke up in the coffin. Yeah. Inspect that. I don't... Why, know why that's important, but okay. Um, nondescript receipt for seven pound. Okay. Probably ties into something else. Oh! There's a dead spider. There's a rift spider. Oh! Silas! On uh, topic of unusual Bolivian spider, one passenger notes that venom produced a state resembling death, and that some Andean tribes use venom during a rite of passage in which an initiate boys experience a symbolic death lasting two or three days. I believe I should reinterrogate a suspect. Uh, Silas, why? Label directed. Yep. I return and find out about this. Yep, so Silas definitely did something with the spider, but why? Um, there's nothing on it, however. Uh, like a Sioux tribal mask. What's, hold up, what did he say when he, he died? Yeah. Bacheso. Um, green customs of. I believe I should reinterrogate us. Yeah, where's this chapter at? All right. Um. Seem to are okay. Who are you? Oh, okay, here's Silas. The anthropological sciences have lost a great mind. He revolutionized the field. Mm -hmm. It is my fond hope that I may inherit his mantle. Great. Which one is that? Sorry, difficult to read. I've lost my spectacles somewhere. I recently traveled to Africa in order to continue studies on the indigenous tribe Professor Bing discovered some time ago. All right. I'm going to have to just trust you on that. Hey, Dr. Wilson. An colleague, he wrote prolifically probably no one will ever amass the amount of knowledge he acquired hey. i'm most vexed about that a rare specimen of the sort i've been studying for years it escaped a few days ago no doubt due to that scatterbrained assistant virginia oh my no thesis subject my south american colleagues tell me that this particular arachnid is only found in the Bolivian Andes. Fascinating subject. So those two did research independently of each other. A lovely man, and quite wealthy. I only wish he had lived to bless my alliance with his son. I'm sorry to hear about that. Do you know whether that change was actually made? I hope... I hoped you wouldn't find that. I'm afraid several of the faculty purchase cadavers for research purposes. It's a fact of university life. Okay. So. She did it. She definitely did it. Um, I feel like there's almost no doubt that she did it. I mean, she... They literally blamed her for letting the spider out. Wasn't hard to just probably knowing that it puts them in in like that state. Probably did it intentionally. Why? Old Warren Co. and Pac. Uh, here's some green pond for last night. So yeah, he probably dug him up. 
She was purchasing a quote unquote quote unquote purchasing a cadaver, knowing full well he was alive. I believe yep. I should pay a return visit to someone. Yeah, well so I have more to find. This. Oh yeah. She definitely was here. Yeah, there are no doubts about whether or not she was here. It's who actually killed him, which I think honestly probably hurt. Is, it, is this another handkerchief? I believe I should reinterrogate a suspect. Yes. Okay. He showed Bing? up again. First time that's happened in thirty-five years of grave digging. Well then, the tomb. I saw the sun lock the tomb myself. Okay, um, grave robbery. Body snatching? That's an insult. I'd be in the slammer quick as that if I got caught. So yeah. I sell a body or two on the side. A man's got yeah. wheat, ain't he? I broke the lock and left him on a barrow just behind his tomb. Mm. It was dark, couldn't really see. But some fella come by and cart the old professor off. It's money back there. You can likely still see the tracks. Got it. And it's then the money? That seven guineas is a lot for a bloke like me. I'm careful with me pennies and save for a rainy day. Got it. So he said, uh, tracks? Ah. All right, down the road. And out this way. Yep, just keep going. Ah. Jeez, there's still so much more. Oh, okay. I saw a small hammer at the saw. Oh, great. Okay. Um. Holding secret mask and sense enchanting. Okay. Ash is giving off a perfumed odor. All right. That's a jackal. Now your chapter ripped from um. So you have an each customer by members of the ceremony saying just the living brains of respected elders in order to... Oh, God. Okay. Pretty good idea of what happened here. Yep. Yep. Standard eyeglass is broken in two. So... Who did it? <sighs> Great. I'm... I'm upset, because I originally was like, oh. thought it was them. And it's like, oh, it's not them. And now it's like, back to, oh, it's them. Great. So what, you who we have the question? Yes, that's mine. I misplaced a similar one, possibly at the funeral. I was so upset. Yeah, well. The anthropological sciences have lost a great mind. He revolutionized the field. Mm -hmm. It is my fond hope that I may inherit his mantle. Yeah, it was you. I required his knowledge in order to yep. become the greatest anthropologist in the British Empire. Yep. And his beloved tribe of savages provided the method. That Professor Silas was particularly cunning and gruesome. Mm -hmm. Mr. Raymond will be you. thrilled. Bam. Mystery of the Twice Dead Professor. The esteemed Professor Bing was the victim of a diabolical plot confected by his colleague and 
uh, erstwhile acolyte, Professor Silas, using powerful spider venom, Silas put his mentor into a deep coma, and so far has to attempt to eat Bing's brains in an effort to ingest his knowledge. All this was inspired by the very African tribe Professor Bing hit, had himself discovered. No doubt Silas's mind was unbalanced, as he believed he would surpass all anthropologists by absorbing his mentor's cerebrum. Rest in peace, Professor Bing. The Royal Anthropological Society mourns your passing. Bam, mission completed. Alrighty. Um. So yeah, we have four out of the ten of these complete. Um, next time we come, we, uh, yeah, next time we'll probably continue on with the Dreadful Crimes. Maybe move on to Charles Dickens and do some of all of these, but otherwise. Um, oh, what are we looking at, Miss? Miscellaneous. Eh, we're doing pretty good. Not too bad. Not too good either, but eh. Oh gosh, we only have... Oh. And the game keeps tabbing me out. I don't know why it keeps doing that. It's getting a little annoying, but oh well. Um, quick recap. Yeah, we're just missing those. So we'll be picking up a lot of these. Uh, so yeah, I think we're doing pretty good. Um, yeah, with... Oh, well, got another skill point too. Hold off. All right. All right, well, uh, with that, waiting for all of my skill points to go. There we go. Uh, with that, I'm going to call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Later.